before this treatment, Tessa, um, well, she has her cerebral palsy, and she is not able to support herself sitting up. She's not able to crawl or walk, or she does not speak. She has um, increased tone in all four extremities, which makes it very difficult for her to do really much of anything. Hi. Um, so we have since had her in therapy two times a week, speech, occupational, and physical therapy, where they work with her on different things. Um, and we came down to do this, yes, because we want to help you along with those things. We'd like to be able to get her to a place where she is a little more independent, yes, so you can sit by yourself and you can crawl and walk at some point. Maybe we'll need a walker, but that's okay because we can snazz it up. So we're just hoping that it, we don't want it to cure her because we know that it can't. We just want to give her every opportunity to lead a quote unquote normal life. Yeah. Yes. Right, Tessa. Say hi. You say hi? Say wave. Hi, Dr. Say wave. Hello. Say thank you. <laughs> hi, Tessa. Hello. And um, Tessa was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at 10 months of age. She's got brain damage from being um, premature. And her first stem cell treatment was in December of 2009. And since then, um, the biggest thing we've noticed is her ability to track people, her vision, um, her cognitive. I always tell people that it's like her light, she was like a 50 watt light bulb and now she's like a 200 watt light bulb. It's the easiest way to describe it. Um, she reacts more, she strength wise, she's able to hold her head up more. Um, she's able to, well, her hands, you can see her hands are nice and open before they would be fisted, very, very tight. Um, her hand to mouth motion is much easier for her to do now. Yeah, her just range of motion in general, she was never able to do this. Um, or she, if we would try to do it, she would start to cry. And now, well, you can see she's, she doesn't much care. <laughs> so all in all, I mean, and it's not just us. It's um, her therapists have seen dramatic changes. Um, our families notice changes. Uh, the neurologists have noticed changes. So it, it's definitely something that we are very, um, very, I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> um, we're just very thankful that, it, that we're able to get it here for her because I couldn't imagine her not being who she is now. And I'm just hoping if, if this doesn't do anything, then that's okay because she's already 200 times better than what she was. But I'm really excited to see yeah, another yep. six months. Another six months where she'll be at and we'll just keep coming back until until you're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is Dylan's first. So um, you know, we'll, we'll see. see how he does. But yeah, we'll he's definitely less um, worse so I guess less I don't know the correct way. There's less damage in Dylan's brain than there is in Tessa's, but he still has deficits. He's not walking, talking. Um, Close. Close, but not quite there yet. Developmentally, he's um, probably about a year, 18 months behind. So we're really hoping that that kind of gives him a little bit of a boost. Um, I'd like to hear mom for once. <laughs> but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah.